Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to blend layer textures together in Adobe Photoshop. So you can see on screen an example of the effect that we're going to be creating. We've added a vector straight from Illustrator that is black in color and we've allowed the texture from this yellow background to blend through. And you can do this with any two layers. You can do it with text. If you have two layers in Photoshop, you can blend them together using this technique. So if we switch over to the tutorial document, there is a yellowy background and we've got some texture. It looks a little bit like a wall or something, but you can grab any texture online and grab any kind of graphic or do this with text and it works just the same way. So if we go to the layers panel, you can see I've copy and pasted a graffiti graphic straight from Illustrator as a smart object. I can't take credit for creating this, but it is really awesome. And at the moment you can see that it is completely black with these white highlights. So there's a bit of a mismatch here. It doesn't look like this is actually on the wall texture. It looks like it sat on top of it. It's just way too clean at the moment, but we can blend this graphic with the background quite easily actually. So if we right click on our graffiti layer and go to blending options and it will bring up the default blending options screen. I'll try and move this out of the way so you can see. And we're going to focus on this bottom area here. Now you can adjust where this blends on this layer or the underlying layer. We're going to focus on the underlying layer. Then you've got this dual slider on the right and we can drag this in. And you'll see it does that, which isn't really that realistic and not very effective. However, we can hold down the Alt key. And with the Alt key held down, if we left click on the left half of the slider, it allows us to separate it. And as I gradually move to the left, very slowly you'll see some of that texture start to come through. So we could do this very subtly like this. And we get some of that texture coming through without having to adjust the opacity of the graphic. And this is a much more effective way of getting that texture from the layer underneath to show through without just adjusting the opacity and then it washes out the whole graphic. So doing this allows that texture to come through and it still retains a lot of the, uh, the kind of forms of the graphic and the richness of color. Now this looks pretty good. We've still got some white highlights and a few bits here. Now, if you're blending a dark graphic like this onto a lighter background, personally, I recommend one of two blending modes, either darken or multiply. And you can click on each one in turn and you can see you get a slightly different end result but that's how you blend together two layers in Adobe Photoshop. And there we go. There's a quick way to blend together two layers in Photoshop. Guys, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel and get access to the private live streams, free downloads, behind the scenes, or to just chat with me directly, there's a link in the description to my Patreon page. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Oh.